it happened. Uh, sunset was uh, pretty freaking uh, majestic. It was a mixture of this super hot light coming right off the horizon right back there. You can still see some lingering ver a bit of it. And then a tr straight downpour, like right where I am at trying to take photos. Uh, <laughs> this is, my lenses were getting all full of water drops and it was very, very difficult, but we had this gorgeous rainbow back here along with some nice warm light hitting the hills. And I was able to compose a scene of these, uh, I believe they're called Chola, Chola cacti. Um, and then some of the cigars in the background um, with the rainbow and the illuminated hills. And it was just some of the most beautiful light probably I've seen on this trip. Uh, it was just phenomenal. And then I also kind of tried to photograph these these uh, cacti here with uh, um, with the sunset in the background. That didn't work out as well just because of the water. Uh, I was shooting right into the rain, so it was making it difficult. But the other one, as long as it's um, not like blurry, because I was doing it handheld, I had to go up to like ISO 800 because otherwise it would have been it would have gotten blurry. As long as it's not blurry, that's a great shot. I, I already know it is. It's like that light is fantastic. I was able to find a decent composition with the limited time I had and whew, that was fun. Oh, I always love when that happens. Okay. Well, I'm going to get back in the car now before I get too wet. Camera gear is already wet. I mean, look at this. Just a matter of like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. Everything's just soaking.
how's it going everyone today or this afternoon i should say i am in the superstition mountains or i'm just outside of it that is the actual mountain right there i believe uh and i'm just in the national forest right next to the state park and i've just been kind of exploring around these different little trails they're not marked or anything but i suspect people ride their horses on them or just walk on them and other animals may use them as well but uh they just they wind throughout this entire kind of desert floor here and it's it's pretty awesome it's a great way to get around and try to find different uh, views and scenes especially using foreground with the cacti and the different bushes and occasionally the spring flowers although i am still a little bit early but um, i am out here hopefully to photograph sunset right now it's a little bit iffy 10 minutes ago i was more confident but now the horizon is starting to get a little bit covered with this thick layer of cloud that's covering the entire sky whereas 10 minutes ago was a much bigger gap right over there although i don't know it may still happen we'll see but it's been a great day absolutely beautiful super super toasters it's been like 75 80 degrees out today and i'm not quite used to that you know not quite used to the heat this little wisconsin boy so Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and uh, continue looking around, hopefully find a composition for uh, sunset. Yeah, we'll see what happens, but should be good. Today has been a good example of a failed session, even though you get tremendous light. <sighs> uh, I was not expecting it to happen as quickly as it did. It just kind of happened out of nowhere. And it lasted for a long time. The light just kept getting better and better and better. And I was just running around trying to find something, just something. And uh, I really, really struggled. Oh, makes you feel like a shit photographer when this happens, you know? It's like such a beautiful place, but 
I mean, these cacti are super difficult to work with. And I'm not a fan of everything just being this gravel. It's super bright and it makes it very, very chaotic between the gravel, the cacti, and then these green bushes that are spotted everywhere. It just does not, it's very, very difficult to work with. And so I struggled immensely with that, despite the fact that we had oh, some phenomenal light. <laughs> Some of the best on this trip. Uh, and it lasted for such a long time and I should have been able to find something and I really, really... I found I found a couple of scenes. I think one that should turn out and maybe another that's, that's all right. But I did not utilize the light the way I wanted to. <laughs> Especially the good stuff. I found the scenes more or less when I just first started the first blush. And uh, yeah, I, I could have done a lot better job, but it just didn't happen this time around. So I will say, when you do get light like that and it's a struggle <laughs> to get something, and even if you don't get something, it's still a lot of fun. It, it really is, but it does bite a little bit, you know. Having that just standing like standing still trying to find something just looking around for a minute straight trying to find something get an idea it's it's a rush that's for sure but like i said i did find a couple things but nothing that i'm you know real ecstatic about i don't think maybe one composition that's pretty nice but anyway i'm gonna shut up that's enough talking i'm gonna go uh, get something to eat <laughs>